And state Republicans held a news conference today in advance of Harris's visit. They're pointing out what they call her economic failures. This comes as the Michigan Teamsters is throwing its support behind the Harris Walls ticket. 1300 Sides' Jeremiah Brown is in the newsroom now with both sides of the story. Jeremiah. Yeah, good evening, Julia. Michigan Teamsters has 245,000 active and retired members in the state. Their president, Kevin Moore, says based on regular communication, close to 75% of the membership backs the policies of Kamala Harris and Walls. During a news conference in Lansing today, Republicans describe many of those policies as ineffective, saying they are leading to higher prices at the grocery store, gas pump, and more. Michigan Republican Party Chair Pete Hookstra says on top of current costs, Democrats will raise taxes. The Teamsters president fired back today as well, saying Kamala Harris was raised by a single mom and understands the plight of the average middle class American. So he's just spin, doc spin doctoring, selling nothing but lies and rhetoric. He changes it by the hour. Kamala Harris of Walls have a consistent message for middle class America, and it's resonating, and it's scaring the living hell out of them. The thing is they're going to see their cost uh, you know, taxes increase, so there's going to be more money going to the federal government and people are going to keep less of their money in their own pockets. Uh, and right now, people are having a tough time making ends meet. Now, as both sides talk back and forth about which candidate has a better plan, a lot of Americans are feeling stressed out. According to the Thriving Center of Psychology, politics affects the mental health of nearly one in two Americans. They say one in two also believe that social media is not a safe space to discuss politics. And one out of every 10 people say they are losing sleep over this upcoming election. Now, the Thriving Center of Psychology says it's understandable to feel stress and experience anxiety when we get closer to an election. For everyone, it's important to take care of yourself, and that can mean things like talking to people you trust, putting your phone down, and taking a break from politics, and of course, speaking with a therapist if it all still feels too much. In the newsroom, I'm Jeremiah Brown, 13 on your side.